Hey guys, how's it going? Miso here. Um, I know it's been a while, but I really, really want to make a video about Maple Story 2 after the recent announcement that it's going to be coming out in closed beta in May. Um, definitely wish us all luck on getting into that. Wish you all, wish myself, so we can all play together. Um, so what I really wanted to do in this video was talk about the experience that you're going to be getting when you're playing Maple Story 2. How how is it going to play? How are you going to feel? And what are kind of some of the differences between Maple Story the original one and Maple Story 2 because there are definitely a lot of differences. So, ideally I would have liked to have some gameplay video for you guys, but unfortunately, I've actually spent the last 2 days trying to get KMS to get installed on this computer but I couldn't. Um, but I definitely have played a fair bit of KMS in the past. I played a while back. Um, the level cap back then was 40, um, or it was recently updated to 40 at that time. I believe now you can go above even 50. Um, but as you can see, this is my character. Um, it was a priest seen by this little symbol right here. Um, and I got it to level 30. And I had a couple other characters as well, but um, those characters didn't get as high level. But on to the actual content of what you want to, um, you're here for. And there will probably be some like stock KMS gameplay ba uh, videos in the background, so uh, you, that'll keep you guys busy, hopefully. Um, but I want to talk about what the experience is and what you should expect from Maple Story 2. So first of all, uh, talking about overall um, experiences. Maple Story 2 is going to be a 3D MMORPG, as you've probably seen in all their videos, and it's going to feature a lot of the same, different kind of like style of cutesy art. Um, but one of the really big differences is that it really plays and feels very differently compared to Maple Story 1, I guess, the original Maple Story. It's a lot more like a traditional MMO where there are you know specific party roles like the traditional holy trinity of a tank healer and dps um and there are a lot of raids which is really really cool something that the original maple story didn't have much of so if you're looking for kind of a game that you can get in and actually do party play because that's actually promoted um in the game then this might be the maple story for you um Going on to a little bit more about um, what you can do in the game that's new is the customization options. Now, before you had NX cash to buy, you know, clothes, weapon cover, skins, whatever it is for your characters. Now, there are those for Maple Story 2 as well, but really the big new thing for customization is the player housing. So you can buy a house um, in the game and you can customize that house. Of course, um, a lot of the customization is going to be with NX, but you can also get some with um, your in-game currency as well. Um, but that's kind of really, I feel like, one of the big draws of the game, being able to customize your character, customize your house. Um, the next thing is that you can use NX to buy clothing, of course, for your characters, but I think the coolest thing about MS2 is that you can create your own clothing, your NX um, cash shop covers. Um, and I think that's really unique because you can create it and also sell it on the marketplace for NX. Um, hopefully they keep that over here in uh, Nexon America. We definitely know Nexon America can be a little bit of uh, money grubbers. But hopefully they don't change that and do continue to let us do that because um, I really think it's a great way for people who have great design skills but maybe you know they don't want to pay as much money to be able to get an X. Um, and also just design your own clothing for your character. Make them look however you want, which is super cool in my opinion. Um, now the other thing is that there will be you know, a lot of mini games. I'm sure you've seen like uh, a bunch of the mini games in the trailers that you've watched for Maple Story 2. Um, but 
it's really a lot more of a social game compared to original Maple Story. Now, way back in the day, I feel like the original Maple Story was a very social game, but these days, especially for myself, I don't really feel like talking to people all too much, and I don't really like seeing people in my channels uh, bothering me. So, if you're looking for more of a social game and you're willing to interact with other people a little bit more, I think this is a likely game that you'll enjoy. Now, moving on to the gameplay for last. Um, the gameplay is one area that I think is going to make or break it for a lot of people. So when I say that, what I mean is it's still a very grindy game. Like, you're going to be grinding up levels. It took me many hours to get to level 30 on my character, but the way you grind is go very, very different. So, as many, you know, with research, you guys probably found out that there's no more casting in the game. Basically, as long as you hit a monster, as long as you touch it, and it dies, you gain full experience for that kill. Whether it's inside of your party, outside of your party, whatever, you will get full experience. Now, this was the way it was back when I was playing. When it was, you know, within a year, year and a half of the game releasing, and I'm sure there have been many changes since then. But the um, big thing to note is that <laughs> Nexon will probably not roll out the latest updates when they put in um, MapleStory 2 for global beta. They'll probably have it with the original content or at least close to the original version. So this is going to still be true. The way you grind in the game was something I really didn't like. So what it really would be is well, in Maple Story 1, you're going around killing mobs, grinding, you know, you're one hitting, maybe if you're a little bit weaker, two hitting most mobs, but you're going through just destroying these mobs. In Maple Story 2, the mobs are really strong. They have a lot of health and you're not doing that much damage compared to that. So the best way to grind was getting in the map with a bunch of other people, let's say 15, 20 other people. And all you're really doing is tagging the monsters. So using an attack, like a ranged attack, to attack and hit the monster. And by the time you hit it, everybody's going to have hit that monster as well, and it'll have died. The good thing is, you'll get full experience for that. But the bad thing is, you're really, the only way you're grinding is just tagging monsters and having other people kill it for you. Um, I thought that that was really, really boring, uh, as opposed to the original Maple Story, where I'm the one who's doing all the grinding. Um, no, well, you know, some that might be your cup of tea, but it's definitely not mine. Um, but it was really weird. When I first started my character, the best way of leveling was actually these new things. Um, well, I guess they had these in Maple Story um, 1, but they were like zone bosses. So there would be these big bosses that would take many, many people to kill. And what you would do is you would just change channels be um, until a new one spawned, and you'd go and kill those for experience for quite a bit. And then after that, you would go into the um, normal leveling zones and tag monsters to kill them and gain EXP. Um, so it's very weird, it's very different, and for me, I'm not entirely sure if that's something that I like, but I'll still give Maple Story 2 another shot um, when it comes out in GMS, just so, you know, everybody's going to be playing it, and I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with other people, I'm sure of it. The other thing is that um, I mentioned earlier, raids. So this is a lot more like a traditional MMO where there are raids, you're going through raid content, um, killing bosses, and a lot of you know guilds compete for like the first completion of raids. I know that the guild that I was in, KMS, uh, Lionheart, they were pretty competitive and were going for like the first completions for all the new raids. Um, but the raids are a lot of fun. Now, I was only level 30 at the time, which um, unfortunately was not the cap. It just went to 40 as the new cap. 
So most of my guildmates had surpassed me and gotten to level 40 before I could get there. So nobody was really doing raids at my level. Um, but from what I heard, raids were a lot of fun. It required actual coordination. And um, that's really, really unique and different from a uh, regular Maple Story, which, you know, at the end with like Lucid and um, other newer endgame bosses, uh, I'm sure it required coordination, but this was more, you know, it's something that a lot of people could get to. And that kind of goes on my other point that even though this game is grindy, it's definitely not as grindy as original Maple Story. Original Maple Story, it would take you, you know, a long, long time. You know, the fastest players would be like a month to get to max level. Um, but in this game, even an average player could probably get to max level in a month just because of the level cap being so low and the much easier experience game. Now, it's still going to be a little bit grindy near the end, but it's definitely not the same as grinding to 250. Um, and the last thing is PvP. This game will have PvP, which original Maple Story did have for a little bit, but this is very different. You know, it's going to be more like a traditional 3D MMORPG type of PvP. And the cool thing is you actually have separate gear that um, you have as PvP gear compared to your normal grinding gear, so you can't really pay to win that um, type of gear, which is really, really nice. So I think that about wraps it up. This Maple Story 2 is a lot more of a social type of game where um, you're just because of the age of the game, there hasn't been that much content released compared to original Maple Story. So a lot of characters will get to end game pretty quickly and it'll turn into a social experience where you're you know, customizing your house, customizing your character, playing mini games with other people, maybe doing a little PvP here and there, helping your friends, your guild mates do raids. Um, yeah, it's a lot more of a social type of game. So if that's what you're into, definitely recommend it. Um, and of course, gameplay is going to be very different. Like I said, the grinding is very different. Some people really like it, some people don't like it. I'm one of the people that don't like it, but I would recommend giving it a shot. Like I'm giving it a shot again. Maybe my opinions will have changed this time around. But yeah, hopefully I will get into the closed beta and um, be able to play with everybody. In addition, I hope I can actually get KMS 2 to run on my computer so I can maybe get some content on this channel for you about KMS 2. Yeah, well, wish me luck. Thank you very much, and I will see y'all next time, I guess. Peace.